All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Like I said, I was going to do before was declare a holy war on these guys. So let's do it. Although there is the possibility that if... Oh, wait, so he does have an ally? Oh, motherfucker, he actually has... This man here... Whatever, I don't care. I still have more troops than he does. I don't, I don't, I don't really give a shit. Um, let's just do it. Let's declare a holy war for Cordoba. Should be a really quick and easy war. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. Raise all of our troops. Raise a vassal fleet. Okay, and let's put all of you guys on ships. Oops. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm only missing these guys. We'll just park them over here in Canton Zero again and merge all of our troops. As far as these guys go, I'm going to have to quickly put them over here. I need to be quick about this, like I'm saying, because I don't want Barcelona to, to get it. And now he's called in his ally. Which is fine. I still have more troops than he does. I'll well, just probably send you guys over right away. Same thing with you guys. And, alright, uh, I think I should have enough ships here. Okay, so I can actually do everybody now. So, let's send them on over. That should be my entire army. I mean, minus, <laughs> minus my actual retinue. Um, speaking of retinues, I always want to be diligent about this. I always want to make sure that I have capped out retinues. Uh, what's this? Uh, designated regents. Okay. Um, so we want to minus this touch guy. We could choose our steward here. Why don't we do that? Let's give him master of the hunt and give him a gift sounds good okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, park all, get all of our troops right over here and just start sieging I only have the one province I really need to worry about child here, a nephew of mine that needs a guardian, so we will do somebody with Marshall, who is Lombard. I got this woman here. Uh, sure. So it looks like we are managing to beat everybody else to the punch here. We have so many troops here, we could just potentially just straight up assault their holdings. Okay, quick baby here. Uh, is there any geniuses? There's not. How about quick? Uh, we have a 15-year-old. Sure. Wait, wait. Pause again. Who, who are these guys? What are these guys? Some sort of Yazidi uprising. Alright. Whatever. They're gonna get smashed in the face. Okay, uh, I think we want our feudal vassal opinion. Please and thank you. I think I'm going to wait for the siege progress to go down a little bit before I start assaulting. I don't want to just needlessly waste my troops here. We'll wait till it gets down to about half, I think, and then we'll do it. I'm not entirely certain how this siege progress is actually going to go, how it's going to be dealt with, because he called in his ally, and even though I take out his one province, we might not have enough a war score. Okay, what's going on here? Somebody wants to marry my half-sister. Negative. We will marry her uh, matrilineally to uh, 
Uh, uh, I don't really care. Um, how about this man right here? He seems fine to me. And get a little bit of prestige. And he's got some claims, probably. He looked like he was probably Irish or Scottish or something. Or potentially Welsh. Um, you know, I was just about to look at something, but now my... Oh, that's right. I was going to look at epidemics. Well, thank, thank God. It's not over by us. It's over by our other provinces over here in Byzantium. Okay, one more tick. Oops, let's unpause. Okay, there, there we go. Let's, uh, let's assault this. The city holding should go fairly quickly. Well, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do it again. And same thing with the mosque. I want this war to end, be, end like, as soon as possible. There we go, 100%. Nice. Give me your land. All right, and uh, we will stand down our army. Get another retinue here. Uh, we will do another defense. And as far as these guys, let's create the vassals out of thin air. Go back into character finder. Uh, we want to ruler no. And this man here, he's blinded. But he's a renowned physician. Uh, this guy right here can take La Mancha. Almost hitting my damn vassal cap here again. Can I form any other duchies? I cannot. I could potentially attack the Abadids, not Abbasids. The Abadids. I can attack these guys. But they have about 10,000 troops. They have no allies this time, though. I mean. This would be a, a really good time to attack those guys. Hmm. That actually sounds like it would be in our interest to do. Let's make sure that there's nobody leading my retina here. There's not. Okay, good. So, if I was to attack these guys, what would I declare war for? For Cordo Cordoba, so I can finish the duchy, or I can do Grenada. Um, I think Cordoba would be best. Let's do that. Let's do the same thing. Let's uh, raise our levy and get our fleet up and going. Uh, we'll park you guys here. I'm not going to need this ship. Oops. Okay. Put you guys into the ships. Something right here. And then... Take all of my ships, and we'll go to Kentanzaro. Do the same thing as before. It's a perfect time to attack these guys. No allies. It's just the dude himself. He's got a lot of troops, but since I'm going to be taking land from him, he's no longer going to be a threat. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold up, game. Um, I don't want my retinue in there. So let's merge these guys up, these ships, and put them in. And sail you guys on over. Looks like my Byzantine transports are about to arrive. Very good. Okay, let's merge you guys up, faux show. All right, so we have a large portion of troops here. Let's go after the Wargle straight away. Make sure that none of our ships here, they do not have anybody, okay? What I think I'm going to do here is actually split them in half. Uh, we'll take the the one with the most. You're a direct leader, okay. 
with the most amount of troops, we'll, we'll have him siege this province down. And then if he comes after me, I'll just split these guys up and move them. Okay, so it looks like that is actually going to happen. Uh, so we're going to have to take this stack here. It's fine. be really nice if I actually catch him as a prisoner. We can just end this war straight away. Didn't happen. It's fine with me. Um, what I can do is... How about split you guys in half. And let's take you guys and go down there and attack them. And then I will... I need 3,000, about 3,100 troops, so... So that's three three hundred. Um, this has got a small amount. That's got a small amount. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to swing that. So we'll take these extra four hundred or eight hundred troops to go down there and help out. Smack around his army. Okay, we got a six-year-old H attractive girl here. Let's do that. And you guys are headed to Cadiz. So it looks like Barcelona is joining in on the fun here. Since I won my previous Holy War, I'm going to assume that they jumped in on this since they had the opportunity since I'm already attacking them. Uh, we have a prisoner here that can get ransomed off for the 25 gold. So I think they're going to play ping pong with our army. That's fine. What I also should do here is Really, really pay attention to the Aztecs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they... Oh, shit. Here it comes. Here it comes. So they are attacking the papacy. And they're about to win. Holy shit. So we are going to have to swear fealty to these guys. I don't know if I can do it in the middle of a war, though. What could potentially happen is that I could be in the middle of my war. And then he is going to finish up his war with the papacy. He's going to win. And then he's going to outright attack us, so I'm not going to even have the opportunity to, to to actually swear fealty to him. Oh, shit. Yep, have reached Rome. Terrible screams ring out from the apostolic palace and is defiled by human sacrifice while Aztec commanders touring the ancient Roman monuments lament the fact that they only that they had no chance to prove themselves in battle against such a worthy foe. Disconcerting. So, uh, we are bordering these guys now. Can we just do it now? Can I just swear fealty to this man? I can't do it because I'm in war, right? Yeah, I'm at war. Okay, um... <laughs> I could send him a gift. Wow, you're expensive. I don't want to do that. Holy shit. Um, so we need to finish up our war like quickly here before he attacks us. So I have a half-brother here. Do you have any family members? Yeah, you do. Who are you? Um, absolutely not. I might need you. So it'd be really nice if I could actually catch this guy in one of these battles. I don't know if it's going to happen. Probably not. It doesn't even look like he's leading his troops anymore. Oh, please hurry up. Come on, hurry. Before I get attacked. You know, he was at war with the HRE. What happened there? Are they still at war? He's still at war with the HRE. Invasion of Germany. So maybe he will focus on that next. And maybe that, uh, hopefully that uh, uh, distracts him. We're going to have to do it. There's just no way. Uh-oh. Wait. So the guy himself. 
So I killed him. So I'm fighting somebody else now. Some other man. Some other ruler. Uh, looks like the Byzantines want to limited crown authority. Um, I wish I could actually t tell what her crown authority was actually at right now. Uh, we're going to ignore that. I want nothing to do with your politics. Come on, men. Siege. Siege down quickly. Whoa, 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 pause. Go catch these guys. We need to go slaughter them. Get some more war score. Okay, we finally got one siege done. There'll be a second here in a moment. Okay, um, looks like we got some more ping pong action. Very well. Sucks that I get a river crossing. Okay, so we want to kill my spy master. Okay, so we caught somebody in battle and he doesn't have any war score so we're gonna ransom him off for the 70 gold so I think I'm actually good now on battles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and help out with the sieges and probably start assaulting them because I need to finish this up ASAP like this is this is a, a game breaker here okay let's uh what do we got here we are going to be attacking a mosque Okay, very well. We're going to have to assault it. Okay, so I got 95 war score. Um, we have a city, which will go really quickly. We're going to have to do the same thing. Assault! Go, men! There we go. Booyah. So we now have the Duchy of Cordoba. I don't know if we actually have the province. Oh, we can actually usurp it. So we're going to do that, definitely. Faux show. Sure. Alright. And let's uh, stand on our troops. Okay, and uh, let's create our vassals out of thin air again. And I still had some Lombard men that were content. So uh, let's investigate that again. Uh, we have a blind man here. You can have... Calatrava. And this man here, you can have... You guys are... Oh, wait. You guys are Lombard. Yes, you are. Okay. And you guys have... Uh, you can have Cordoba. All right. And then... And this kid here with a claim on that province. Let's give him the actual duchy. Uh, grant you the duchy of Cordoba. All right. So we are going to hard save our game here real quick. We are straight up bordering the Aztecs now. Wait, what's going on here? You got war with somebody? Why is this being sieged? Who is this? Okay, so it looks like you guys are at war with one another. Uh, what, wait, what's going on here? Um, no. Wait, who is this man? And you're fighting... Capua Venetian War. So I can actually attack the Doge here. For the holdings. Uh, well, we might have to investigate that at some point. But in the meantime, we're going to have to roll them dice. Uh, let's swear fealty to them. Oh, 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 I don't want to do this, but we're going to get slaughtered if we don't. <laughs> All right, let's see what he says. Okay, so Corsica is prospering. Um, so is Gurgenti. 
to the great King Old Style. Blessings upon you and your house. I accept you as my vassal. Henceforth, you will enjoy my protection as your liege lord. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. game here. Let's pause. So we're still a king. He hates us because we're a foreigner, an infidel, and a cannibal. Okay. Um, we can convert to his culture. We absolutely, positively do not want to do that. Um, hmm. So, I can really start to do some interesting things here, is I can actually form my own faction. What is the crown authority in the Aztec Empire, by the way? They have low crown authority, medium centralization. Okay. So he's not we're not being taxed at all. Interesting. Um hmm. So we're part of the Aztecs. We had no choice. It was either get attacked or swear fealty. So that puts us into an automatic war against the Pope and against the HRE. Um, hmm. What do we do? I think we could start our own faction, but I don't want to piss off uh, Mr. Emperor. It can do independence. It can lower crown authority. I don't think we're going to do anything yet. What we need to do is actually wait for this... Wait for their troops to start to diminish. So I just want to say, give you guys a little bit of an anecdotal story. My previous campaign that I did off camera, obviously. I started off in 867 as Jorvik, which is the, um, the Norse, the Norse man here. And he starts out with, in a war with pretty much everybody around here. He starts off with a whole bunch of event troops. And I end up conquering all this, becoming the emperor of Britannia and converting to Christianity. And then I completely smashed my way across Scandinavia and all the way over here and got the Never sta start a land war in Asia, and the uh, Norse East achievements. And that was pretty much the goal of that achievement run. But I did have Genghis Khan set to randomly show up, and I got lucky. He showed up in the 11th century, sometime I think I've, I think he might have showed up in like 1020 or something like that, and he had a massive amount of troops. And it took a while, but eventually his his uh, event troops did disappear. And the only reason why I was able to actually start fighting them is because I owned so much land. I had so many troops. But this is a different case here, is that I don't think the Aztecs are going to have anybody that's going to ever rival them. Even if they end up losing all of their event troops, they're still going to own so much land that they're going to have levy and retinues and whatnot. I am just going to play with it. We're going to go with it for now. Hopefully, nothing awry happens. Nothing goes awry. Um, to get to the Iron Crown achievement, I think all we have to be is Lombard. And we have to have either a kingdom title or an emperor title. And since we have two kingdoms, as long as we possess those by the year 1300, we're good to go for that, for one. And then for two, we just need to have our dynasty survive until the very end so I can get the survivor achievement. But as it stands right now, it doesn't look good. I don't know. I'm just, I hope to God that he doesn't sacrifice me or take away my titles. But we're just going to have to play with it. Looks like I need a new ambition. Um, we could become steward. Become, wow, these are all weird names. I, that's the steward. We'll do that. Uh, what's this? Falsely confess faith. So if we if we switched over to his religion, I would no longer be eligible for the I'm sorry Desiderat. I think, as it stands right now, I don't think I'm going to go for that achievement. I think I have to be an emperor title or have an emperor title for that because I can give off one of my kingdom titles and have a vassal Lombard king, and then I can just have my son marry his daughter. But that's not going to happen. So I could start switching. What is the moral authority of... Can I, can I actually see these guys as... Uh, I don't think... I don't know if I can actually see his religion. Can I? What their moral authority is? 
I don't think I can. No. Um, so, this guy doesn't like us because we're a foreigner. That's not going to change. We're an infidel because we're Catholic. If we confess our faith... Okay. Falsely confess faith. And he'll lose 100 piety. King Old Style the Dragon starts secretly practicing the Catholic religion. Convert to your liege's faith. I don't think I really want to do that. Um. Wow. Anyways, we are fighting the Pope here. And I think we're going to have to raise our levy to do this. I don't really want to attack the Pope. The Papacy's army, but I don't think I really have much of a choice here. Can I, can I get any more retinue? No. Okay. Very well. The city of Cordoba, sometimes referred to as the Jewel of the World, has been has been seized by the Aztecs. What are you talking about? I own that. It's 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 part of your empire now, but that's that's my land. What the hell, game? I'd like you to and I'd like to invite you to a feast. Uh, of course, I'll come. Sure, you like me quite a bit. I mean, I could probably just sit back and let the Aztecs do all the fighting for me here, which is probably going to happen anyways. Actually, why don't you guys all merge up in Capua? So this Venetian War, is that still actually going on? No, I think that that actually made it invalid. Well, actually, uh, let's take a look. Um, was it in Capua? Yeah, one of these provinces here, we're getting at this place. This guy, this guy is still in a war. Oh, he's the Doge of Pisa. Are they? They're still around. They're still alive. Who who owns this? The, okay, so he's up here. He's gonna die soon. The good news is is that since we're part of the Aztec Empire, I don't really have to worry about anybody declaring a war on me because they have to actually declare a war on the entire empire. So no more jihads. I don't have to worry about the Byzantines. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to go down here and start smashing some faces, I could. Down in the African Muslim territories. So I got a bunch of prisoners here. Um, can we ransom anybody? Uh, we can. Prince Blatz has dragged his unfaithful a spouse before me and insists I punish her. Yes. She is punished. I don't really care about the, the papal army right now. But they're so close to my lands that I don't want them to attack me or attack my retinue. I think after this is done, we're going to attack Pisa. So, this dude's raiders have... Who Whose raiders is this? Okay, so some Muslim nation. I can't... You know what sucks being a vassal, though, is, is I can't even tell my own lands <laughs> apart from everything else. This is terrible. Okay, so that took care of the Papal Army. Let's uh, take a look at Pisa. Let's um, probably declare war on them. Uh, we can do it for... It's too bad I don't have the options to do it on actually all of them. Um, so there's Arborea and then there's Capua. We're going to do Capua. They've got a lot of troops. But that's okay with me. 
So raise our levy once more. Wow, they they oh that's right they have um uh, what you call them uh, trading posts here. So that's a Venetian. These guys are Pisan. That one's Pisan. Let's go over here and take out these trade posts. As a matter of fact, I think I could just assault them straight away. Right? Because they've only got a minimal amount of troops. Oop, uh, you guys actually need to assault. And then the rest of you guys can come right over here to Capua. Start sieging it down. So this man here has requested to join the Knights of Santiago. Yes. Sure, buddy. So I don't get it. This is a... There's a, whatchamacallit, my uh, trade post there. Why am I not able to take that out? Wow, there are a lot of troops here. He's got like, whoa, 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 whoa. hold your, hold, slow your roll there. So he's got like 6,000 troops just sitting there. So what we should do here is take you guys and come up here to Benevento. Same thing with you. I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to actually need to raise my vassal levy. I don't know if I'm going to have enough troops to do this unless I throw, my, throw in my retinue. But I could sort this by rank. How about this go by total strength? It's even better. So Toledo, these guys are far. Uh, Calabria is right next door. Amalfi's right here. The Revolt. Uh, Pulia. Let's get, just get a couple more, a couple hundred more troops. Um... Merge you guys up. Let's unpause. Very interesting episode. So, god damn it, somebody else is trying to kill my fucking daughter. So, known plots. This bitch right here. So, some random random woman. Where are you located? You are like way the hell up there, right? So why are you trying to kill my daughter? You won't do it, and you won't try to end your plots. So I guess we're just going to have to roll with it for the moment. If she dies, I mean, I'm screwed. So maybe I, I should think about putting her in hiding just for... Just for a spell. And one other thing I should do, actually, is probably take my ships here and pick up that... That small stack there, move them on over. Every little bit of, well, every little bit of troops here is going to help. All right, uh, we can probably just assault that. Okay, move you guys up to Benevento. All these trade posts, man. Holy shit, man. Where the fuck did they get 10,000 men? Holy Christ. Uh, I... Well, that sucks. Um, hmm. I guess I have no choice. I'm going to have to raise my vassal fleet here. Let's get you guys to walk on over there. What sucks is that since we swore fealty is that we don't have as much levy anymore because we got to provide a percentage of it to our to our man 
to our emperor. Um, so these ships here are doing me no good. We can stand them down. Let's do that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, what the fuck? Why aren't you guys moving? So what is this? He wants to assign me... We propose that... No, dude. Decline. He already has a guardian anyways. I don't want that. Because there's that possibility that he's going to end up, what, switching religion and culture and all the rest of that? I don't think so. So you guys can go just straight up. Uh, move you guys over. Okay. My troops over there still have not done their thing. Like, I think I'm going to actually end up having to use my retinue in this battle. I don't know if I'm going to have enough troops. Wow. And what is this? These are mountains. Well, that sucks. Do we have, actually have a mountain man? I thought I did at some point. Uh, inspiring leader. This guy should lead. Who are you? flat terrain expert. We absolutely don't want this guy. Okay, this guy's a rough terrain expert, um, but he's an inspiring leader. Um, so we'll have our inspiring leaders and do our flank. So who is this guy? The, the HRE, right? Okay, let's uh, let's take a look. So, <laughs> all of Germany, the Holy Roman Empire isn't really an empire much anymore. All right, no guts, no glory. They're gonna get a defensive bonus here, which is very unfortunate for us. But we need to take care of this war. It's like they've only got somebody leading their their one flank here. Okay, let's um, assault this so we can take it back. And then we've got a trade post here. And I'm assuming these guys are ready to go, but there's not enough ships. Okay, um, that should be enough. It really sucks that I can't have access to those guys or those troops yet. Uh oh wait, what's going on here? Has transferred the vassalage of Count Thomas the Usurper to... Okay. So this guy has given me a vassal. And where are you located, sir? Okay, so I have some random German vassal now. Your steward has collected a tithe. Nice. I have this dubious feeling like I'm going to need to buy some new retinues after this. Oh shit, did I actually get the guy? Did I get the man himself? No, who is this guy? He's just some dude. Let's take out the look at the plots again. So th this chick is still trying to kill off my, my daughter. Um, but there's nobody joining in, so let's take her out of hiding. There's going to be some really bad things that happen there. Uh, I think I should probably attack him again. You are going to where? To Napoli. Yeah, let's attack him again. 
I'm gonna say I actually need to start sieging it down. Okay, got another guy. Who I can ransom off. Well, let's do that. For the gold. And you guys can finally actually... Oops. Wrong button. Uh, let's merge you guys up and put you in the ships. Sail you on over. Let's uh, actually sail you to the province in question. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. He's, uh, he's transferring me a whole bunch of vassals here. That's not good. So, what I'm going to have to do here is let's see here let's go into character finder um we'll take do content let's do my religion my culture in um ruler yes separate by rank let's actually dude where are okay so i have this one kid here uh we can transfer a vassal to you for this valencian yeah, let's do Valencia. Sure. Okay, so there we go. We're going to have to do that. Actually, you know what I almost probably should do here is take it, take my centralization down. I think that that has to happen. So I no longer have crown authority since we're a vassal. Okay, so what do I do? Should I attack him again? Let's actually attack him again, and then go up to Capua and start sieging. We'll stand down this fleet here. Always want to be... Always want to make sure... Yeah, so... I'm getting negative war score. Because I don't... I haven't sieged anything down yet. So that's what we're going to have to do. And who is this other man here? What is this other army? Is that part of the Pope or what? Where are... Th who are these guys? Okay, so let's uh, siege this down. End this war. Motherfucker, quit transferring me, people. Okay, please? Can I... Uh, Actually, can I just grant him into Bedens? Is that possible? No? So what are you? You're just a count. So I need to do the same thing again. Um, but instead of content, we're just going to have to do anybody. Somebody here. So Cagliari, let's... Um, first we'll offer you a non-aggression pact, and then... Okay, that's not going to happen. Um... Let's give you transfer a vassal. Sort it by rank. So I can actually... That's right, because he's a count. I need dukes. Where are all my dukes at? What happened here? Toledo, Apelia. So why is it not showing me... My religion, my culture? Did these guys, like, flip... Did my did my vassals like flip? He's Lombard and Catholic. This motherfucker switched to Italian, so we need to revoke your title. I was really worried about that. So what's up with my character finder here? Join court any ruler, yes. Oh, that's what it is. It's the, the married thing. That's where I screwed up. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I did that anyways because I've got a man here that switched to Italian. We don't want that. Um, so we have this duke here. Let's um, transfer a vassal. Uh, let's do this Brandenburg guy here. I think I'm going to do that same thing with somebody else here. Let's see here. I have this... You're a duke. 
Okay, let's uh, transfer a vessel to you. Uh, where was the the German man? Mm, right there, okay. He actually gave me like three different vessels. Okay, so I just revoked his duchy. Now I need to actually revoke his county. All right, let's uh, let's siege this down. Let's just assault it. What is this? A trade post? I think it's a. Wait, what's going on here? Okay, okay. So he said, uh, revoke that title. Okay, so let's finish this war right now. Send the peace. Okay, so Mr. Capio here has control of these these two holdings. And I'm still in a war with the papacy. Um, so what I need to do here, let's go into uh, search all for men, uh, ruler, no. And we want content. Just reset it and go all the way up to the top. Um... Man, I hate that. So that's the best they can do as far as stewardship goes. Uh, I have a bastard attractive man here. I think you would be good. Let's give the uh, county of... You know what? I think I'm going to keep Apulia. I'm going to give him the county of Corsica. Because I'm sick of owning that. Right? And then uh, this should be the actual county of Apulia. Right? Okay, uh... Wait, why... I have control of this. Why am I not able to... Um, change the name? Anyways, it doesn't really make a difference. Let's go back into Realm and do Ruler Yes. Um... We need to make somebody a Duke. And I think these guys are already... Yeah, you got a duchy. I said separated by rank, damn it. I want somebody without any claims, like this man here. Let's grant you the Duchy of Apulia. I still have both of my kingdom titles, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Got a little scared there. Uh, I need a new commander too. Okay. Actually, I need three new commanders. So I have all those geniuses. We don't want to use those guys. This man here looks good, and this man here is fine. Okay, and um, what I need to do here is actually, oops, is do a new unit. We want my retinues to get out of there. I think that's all of them. Very good. Okay, so let's not have you lead. We'll put my retinue, I think, back over here in Napoli. And we need some people here to lead my troops. Let's go over here and, and smash the papacy. Really hate to use my own troops to do this, considering the fact that the Aztecs... You know what? Screw that. I, I'm not going to do it. The Aztecs have, like, damn near 30,000 troops just sitting around. He can do it. So this woman here has usurped, of Capio has usurped the duchy. Okay. So she has the duchy of Capua. So the victorious, am I the victorious? Is that me? I'm the dragon. Has transferred, okay, so he gave me another vassal. That's what, that's what happened. All right, um, wow, this is sucks. He's just gonna sit there and flood me with these guys. So we need to do ruler yes. Uh, let's go all the way to the top, sort it by rank. And I need a count. You look like a count. Let's transfer somebody to you. It doesn't look, oh, that's right. I need dukes, not counts. Uh, you have a bunch of claims. You have, sure, let's, you are Lombard. Okay, uh, transfer vassal. Wait, goddammit, he's a count. 
Uh, I'm looking at the wrong people. I wish they had distinguished between the, the ring here. I know it's got little gems and stuff on it, but I wish it was a different color. Okay, let's give this man a, uh, a vessel. Um, this guy. Yes, I think I'm going to have to just keep doing this. It's a little painful. Motherfucker. He's just going to keep doing it to me. So, okay, you are a duke. You have a claim there. You're a revolt leader. Um, I want you to make peace. Let's see what he says first before I do this. The die has been cast. Okay, so can I actually imprison you? So this guy's trying to claim Benevento. And... Wait. Uh, shit. Where was this guy? There's this man here. Who are you? You are at war with him. Can I... I can't join your war. So what we'll do is we'll give him another vassal. Um, of Alm. Actually, I want Alm. Well, we'll give him this guy. Can we finish this war already? Are you guys actually sieging this down or what? What's happening here? Wait, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay, so we are now at peace. Let's stand down our troops. Oh man, this is exhausting. So do I have any more claims that I can press right now? I can do Galloway from this man, but I'd have to sail all the way up there to do it, and I really don't want another vassal. If we take a look at our laws for high centralization, it looks like we're going to need a few more people. Um, so who are my opponents here? We have Duke Pandolf, the Whisperer. So let's sort this by rank first. Pandolf, this man here. Okay, let's uh, send him a gift, and we will give him an honorary title. Let's make him Seneschal. Uh, we have Landolf of Sardinia. Okay, this man here. Let's give you High Almoner, and send you a gift. How about this woman here? We can do the same thing with you and this man here. And then we have... Hilda Prand of Benevento. Well, I already gave him a gift. I think I can give him a Master of Horse. And then we have Arduin of the Revolt, who has three. Um, let's give him a gift. And then we have one more person with three votes, which is the Arona of Capua. And I can make you the Keeper of Swans. I think I already gave you a gift, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Some of these other guys, I can just send you some gifts. Ulm. I don't care about that. All right. I'm going to try to go down to uh, medium centralization so I don't have to sit there and play. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aztec invasion of Wallachia on the Byzantines. Oh my god, the Byzantines have gotten crushed by the Seljuks. Holy Jesus. Okay, so the Lords of Sicily have approved the institution of absolute crown authority law. I mean, is that even a thing anymore? I mean, since I'm a vassal? Right. No. The county of Arborea has switched to... Italian. We need to make sure that this man here does not flip to Italian. Uh, yes, I would love to come. So we, what we should do is probably put him to special interest, because I need to make sure that he doesn't flip. So I, I guess what I'm assuming here is is that since my land over here is part of the Aztec Empire, is that's how he's able to attack this area. The pre peasants in Gurgenti spent a long time on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend some money, get some piety. 
Fine. Fine, fine, fine. So can I change the name of this place yet? Why can I not do this? I used to be able to do it. Uh, that sucks. Catholic Uprising. Yeah, my marshal wants to join. Knights Templar. Nope. You're in my court. You're on my council. You're staying put. Um, let's get another defense right new. Uh, sure. Let's allow the duel. Alright, got a new kinsman here. Let's marry him off. So we'll go genius. There is a seven-year-old genius kinswoman here. Sure. And I have claim on Galloway, but that's it. Um, can I actually attack Spoleto? So I can claim it here for this random quarter. I don't want that. How about one of these guys? Okay, make a tributary. I don't really give a shit about that. And we just went to war with Pisa, so that's not going to happen. I suppose what we could do here... Actually, you guys are in a revolt. And it's going your way. And these guys are all Muslim now. Huh. You know what? I think I'm going to call it an episode. It's been damn near an hour here. Before I do it, let's take a look at my known plots. Make sure that nobody else has joined in on trying to kill my daughter. There isn't. It's just some just some random woman, like like Helen North from here. She's like way up here somewhere, and she started this plot before I swore fealty, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. Uh, pretty good episode, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what else to make of it, as long as we don't get sacrificed or you know our people start converting to their religion. I don't think we can because they're technically a pagan religion. When you're a pagan religion, you can either reform your religion or you can convert yourself. But once you actually do it, you can't actually go backwards back to the pagan religions. So there's that. But I'm hoping that nobody actually converts over to a separate culture to the culture of our liege. If we take a look at our culture... Wait, why... It should still all be... It should still all be Lombard. This one's Italian. Motherfucker, this guy is Italian. No. Um, so, this guy here... I need to retract your vassal. The... The Prince Bishopric. And then... Is there anybody else here that wants to piss me off? Okay, this broad here is Italian. So... We need to retract her. Yes. And then how about you guys? Okay, you're Lombard. You're Lombard. You're still Lombard. And I just switched you over. And the rest of you guys should be Lomb. Oh, no! No, my vassals here. Shit. My vassals here are converting over... Wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait, I never owned that. I'm sorry. It was these guys. I was going to be like, what the hell? You traitors? All right. All of these guys are still Lombard. You know, I don't really need to micromanage my provinces here to make sure that they, they stay Lombard. I really don't need to do that simply because I need to be Lombard. But I want Lombard the Lombard culture to prosper. I don't want it to die out. Okay, let's... It looks like I'm carousing. Okay, so I have this Prince Bishopric. We're going to have to revoke his title. So go piss off. And same thing with you. You don't deserve it. We don't want Italians. We want Lombard. So... Uh, We'll call it an episode once these people say yes, and then I screw around with that. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm just going to call it an episode here. You guys don't need to watch that. I'm just going to basically 
revoke their titles, give it to some Lombard person, and uh, give somebody else uh, the the people. Transfer some vassalage. Okay, so there's one. So there's two. Okay, there we go. So we no longer have a Prince Bishopric. So let's hard save our game right here. And this is where I call it off. So thank you very much for joining me. Come back for another episode. It's going to be a, a, at least a good handful of days before I start pumping out more episodes or at least publishing them on YouTube. And as far as our Game of Thrones playthrough is not, I've been kind of slacking on that in favor of this because, um, honestly, I kind of like the vanilla game more than I like the Game of Thrones mod. But also because I actually have a mission in this game, which is actual achievements and things. And that's more motivating to me than just playing a mod. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. It's going to be a few days, maybe even close to a week. It won't be a week quite. It'll be maybe like five six days or so but uh i'll see you then take care and have a good one